Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Tonight I am making Viva Las Vegas, which is a colorful four color soap with a bright yellow, turquoise, and two shades of pink. And also using a fruity scent, very bright and fruity. Um, grapefruit, bubblegum in there a little bit, some apple. Not really apple as much, but definitely more citrusy. A little apple, but mostly citrus and bubble gum. Um, Las Vegas is my hometown. I pretty much grew up there. And I wanted to make a soap that kind of paid honor to that. So, bright lights, big city, bright soap, bright scent. And I forgot my line strainer, but that's probably okay because I didn't add any silk to this. And I also am using the Crafter's Choice Molds tonight. Um, I want to split this batch into two. And we'll see what happens. I'm going to gel one and not gel the other. It's been a long time since I haven't gelled. And I want to see if there's a difference in my soap um, between the gel and the knot. <laughs> Here goes my cream. I have cream and buttermilk for my milk mix tonight. These are pretty much a staple in my house. I'll probably start using these fairly regularly from now on. Um, coconut milk is hard to find for me. The one that I like anyway is not always easy to find. That's a trace, light trace, or it's emulsified rather. Let's pour off for the colors. And I used the um, batch. I was originally going to make this in the nurture molds, but I didn't. So there will be leftovers. So I'll have lots of samples for this one. Okay, so off camera I'm pouring the yellow into the bucket. You know, I'm actually going to pour this in the bowl to make it easier to work with. Sorry you can't see this, you'll be able to see it in just a second. I'm using two shades of yellow to make a bright yellow for the base. So that's the first color. there to be more yellow than any other color so I'm doing kind of pouring out some from my little cups okay there we go there's that one oh, I guess you could see that okay so let's go ahead and do hot pink next. This one might fade a little bit to a light pink, which is fine. Uh, I've actually made this soap before. And if you were wondering, it is kind of a monkey farm stew, but it's not like a banana and it's not discoloring. This is definitely super fruity. Okay. Okay, I'm 
So let's do the next pink. This is a super dark pink. It's like a dark rose kind of pink. You know, I really hate using the cups. I use them because they're really convenient. But I need to get some more bottles to do this because it's so much easier to scrape out of the bottle. And then, you know what, I'll just go ahead and whiz these with the fragrance at the same time, I guess. See, look at how much color is left in there. I would much rather do this with the, with the bottle. Also, because when I do it this way, I do um, I use my soaping oil to blend the colors. And I find um, that sometimes I worry about how much how much oil I have left. So I worry about my super fat. When I have the oil, it's basically adding super fat. So that's better also to do it that way. Okay, more spatulas. That's a really pretty shade of turquoise. It's a little more green than it is on the uh, on the screen. I'm perfectly fine with that. I like it. Okay. So our yellow is starting to get thick. So let's go ahead and whiz this and we'll start getting it into the mold. She doesn't need whizzing. Yeah, it does starting to get thick so let's wind it down and this is also ricing and I don't remember that it riced last time not to say that it didn't but I don't remember it doing that. It smells really good. The banana is a little more apparent this time, but it's not like overwhelmingly banana, which in my opinion is fantastic. Well, these are still smooth and that's fantastic. I wanted to give those a minute to set up because I'm hoping that it won't break through too much. I mean, it's okay. The last time I did this, I did a drop nut, well, kind of a plop and clop, and then I put a, um, a skewer through it. I'm going to put a skewer through it tonight, too, so I guess it doesn't matter so much if it breaks through or not, so never mind. Okay, here we go. Cool, that set up pretty nice.
I am very pleased with these colors. These are very pretty. Definitely starting to thicken up some, but it's okay because, like I said, I'm going to put a skewer through it. Getting a little full here. Okay, where the heck is my skewer? I knew this was going to happen. It was sitting right here before I started. Here it is. I moved it on the other counter. Oops. So, I'm excited to see how this will come out. I haven't done the skewer method in a long time. Let's do blue first. Do this pink. This yellow is nice. It's nice and bright. It looks like vanilla pudding. Give these one more shake down. That one's really full. And then I think we will just swirl these a little bit. Just a little. So, let's sprinkle them. Let's put them back on camera again so you can see them. Sorry about that. And we'll hit them with a little, with a little glitter if the glitter wants to come out. Okay. That's it. These are Viva Las Vegas, and they will be ready on December the 1st. I did a heavy water discount. I don't know how many of them I'm going to have available because I'm going to uh, gel one and the other one I'm not going to gel. So if they're both hard, I'll have 12 bars up, but if only one's hard, 
I'll only have six bars up. I will let you guys know. Okay, we're back to cut Viva Las Vegas. I'm gonna cut both loaves at the same time. I've already got it cut, uh, set up on the loaf. I've already got both of my loaves set up on my cutter. Yes, I can talk. <laughs> this is the one that had not been gelled, and it did have quite a bit of ash on it, but I steamed it, and it seems like it's mostly gone now. You see there's still a little bit, like, right here, oh, right here, just little places, but it was, like, fully covered with ash. This is the one that was gelled, and it did not have, well, it had a little ash, but not nearly as much as the, as the ungelled one. The colors are not... I mean, they're real similar. I mean, look at the the blue on this side, on the left side, compared to the blue on the right side. It's a little bit darker. The pink's a little bit darker, but not a whole lot. So there wasn't a whole lot of difference there. Um, as far as the hardness, it took the one that was ungelled an extra day to be hard enough to pull out of the mold. But it's been two days now, and they're already... Both of them are already at the same firmness from a touch test. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up so you can see these to, um, or see these get cut. Okay, let's go. I hope I got these lined up right. I lined them up as best as I could. Oh, interesting. The unjong one is actually harder than the gelled one. There's way more tension on that side of the cutter. Fantastic. Let's see what it looks like. I'm super excited. Cool. Super bright on the inside. Let's compare that end to the end of the of the ungelled one. Oh, this one. Yeah, so the blue is the same. That might be from oxidation. It might be darker on the outside from the oxidation. Pretty, pretty. Well, the last time I made this soap instead of blue, I used purple, which is cool because I love purple. But I wanted to try the teal, and I'm really happy with it. I also might, um, next time, like this is supposed to be like a half and half soap, but you can see that there's more color in the top, which again is fine. I like bright soaps, and every design is pretty to me. This one's pretty, it's got a little heart. But I would like more yellow next time. And the top is all super sparkly. Woo! Cool. Looks, I think, almost like a Hawaiian theme. We have like a variation of this one. We'll make a Hawaiian themed one. What do you think? Let me know if you think that's a good idea or not. Pretty. Super happy with the sparkle too, because Las Vegas is a bright sparkly city, so I used extra glitter on this one. Look at how that shines, pretty. That one's really nice, the extra pink in there. Very nice. On the top. Sparkle, sparkle. That's a nice design on the top of that one too. I like that. And the last piece. That's the end slice. And then the end. So the first slice on the next one. Oh, that's neat. That's very nice. So you can see there was a little bit more ash on there, but that doesn't bother me. Ash is a natural part of the soap making, and it's actually a base ingredient that is harvested from soap making to make laundry soap. So you get like extra cleansing with that. Well, not really extra cleansing, but it's, it's, that's how you know it's real soap.
is from the Ash. So I like this one too. That one's very, very pretty also. I like the, like, the balance of the design on this one. Cool. Almost another heart, like a little peacock maybe. What do you guys see? This one's nice. So actually, while I have this one, because this one had a lot of blue in it, and the other one, let's see if you can see. See the blue on this one's a little lighter than this one. The pink is about the same. The yellow is a little bit darker on the gelled one. So yeah, I guess it's true what they say that the gel makes your colors darker, makes it pop more. And that's just aesthetic. It doesn't mean a thing. Some soapers gel their soap, some don't. I do usually. But I just wanted to see if there would be a real difference in between my soaps when they're gelled and not gelled, mainly because I haven't gelled in such a long time. So I just wanted to see what the difference was in my own soap for my own use. That one looks nice too. That's like a little kind of showgirl. There are little like feathers in their hats. I forget what they're called. They have a name. Cool. And this one. Ta-da. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to say about the soap or not, but I don't think so. This one was just one that I wanted to play with. I like playing with my soaps, they're fun. Soaping is a good time. Cool. And the end piece. And the end of the end piece. Cool, that's like a classic hanger right there, even though I did a um, chopstick swirl. It's like a hanger swirl. This one's very nice, I'm very happy with this one. This one will be available December the 1st in our online store. I'll put the link below. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!